All right, we're live. What is up, guys? Tick here. Welcome back to some ARK Survival Evolved on the Xbox One. We are, uh, I guess, literally hanging. <laughs> literally hanging from our rooftop. Uh, from our ceiling here in our, um, in our shelter. This looks actually really uncomfortable. Um, yeah, we're, we're hanging because we can. Um, we made some renovations. Uh, I should probably explain, actually. Uh, Twitch was not cooperating with me, uh, for the last couple of days. It was, uh... Not really behaving. I couldn't really stream the game, and therefore I didn't really want to do a whole bunch in Arc without streaming it. I wanted to kind of stream all of the major stuff. Um, we haven't really been able to, to do that, but because I'm so damn addicted to the game, I went ahead and did some stuff kind of off camera anyway. So maybe I will go ahead and explain that kind of stuff before we really get into the nitty gritty today. Um, I'll explain this kind of bit too, but first of all, I think that needs to go on up here. Uh, I can get rid of that. We can actually turn the fire off. And take the meat. Okay. So we did make a couple of... Let's do that properly. There we go. We did make some couple of changes, particularly in this little corner, our storage corner, our impromptu storage section or whatever it was. We actually uh, we made a bunch more chests. We kind of took the time to sort out the inventory in each chest as well. So now we have a bit more organization. Um, made some ladders. These ladders actually took me a ridiculous amount of time. Um, they're really, really buggy in this game. Um, I want to say trial and error. It was more like error and error. I eventually got it the right way. I can't actually replicate it because I don't actually know what I did. But more often than not, the climbable side of this ladder was on this side. And I kept hitting my head on this thing. Uh, eventually, I figured it out, so it's a nice way for us to get up to the top of this little section now. I actually don't need the second ladder, do I? Let's get rid of this one. There we go. Um, so I made, uh, put some more chests up here, a couple more chests up here. We went ahead and actually organized these chests, too. So now I've got a couple of chests with pure um, building materials, so some thatch, some fiber, some wood. I've got another one up here, I think, with some raw materials, too. Fiber thatch, wood, and a ton of hide in here too, actually. Um, then down in here, I think we have like a... Is this a food chest? Yeah, we got some food uh, in here. And then we also have a bunch of our seeds. There's a pretty comprehensive farming component in this game that I know nothing about yet. I know I can craft a lot of the farming stuff soon. Uh, so I'm trying to hold on to as many seeds as possible. Um, I've got another berry chest. This is pretty much redundant now. Um, I don't actually need this chest. I'll explain why when I get outside. Uh, we'll come back to that chest. And then up here, I have a chest that has a ton of my... Uh, materials that I actually don't have any idea what to do with yet. So, chitin or chitin. Uh, silica pearls, oil, um, metal. I know what a bed is, but metal is there. Flint probably doesn't need to be in there either, I guess. But it is. Uh, and then we have some eggs. We got some trike eggs. Uh, and then we have some turtle eggs, just to give you an idea of what is going on with our family outside. Um, yeah, so this is more of the stuff that I don't really know what to do with yet. Eggs are cool, but I have no idea what to do with them. It says you can eat them, uh, but I don't want to do that because I have no idea what they're going to do just yet. Uh, so I'm going to hold on to them. The good thing about the eggs is they actually have a long spoil time as well. So 7 days, 17 hours for this one, and then 7 days, 20 hours for this one too. So we're under no worry of these things running out. And the chest I didn't show you down here below, this is kind of like a recovery chest. So anything ever happens to us, we accidentally die or whatever. Um, there's some tools in here, some weapons in here, some clothing in here, a bed and some torches. So this is kind of our chest that can get us right back up uh, onto our feet again. That was kind of the main thing that I worked on when I was in this corner. What's up, Hayes? Um, is there another thing? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, my house does not burn down with thatch when there's a fire going on, thankfully. Um, yeah, I don't really know what the hell this was up here. Uh, to be honest, it was a bit of an accident. What I did was I changed the, the ceilings. I changed the roof. So we kind of got rid of this boring flat ceiling section over here. And you kind of went more for the flat roof uh, up on the side here too. So um, I, I kind of like that. I think it kind of looks a bit more homely, a little bit cool. It looks actually quite nice on the outside. Uh, so... Uh, kind of like that that's kind of cool uh and then from here i was trying to put the sloped roof you can see they have the same end point on the wall there i was trying to put the sloped roof up here and i accidentally put this uh thatch piece the ceiling flat ceiling piece 
uh, down here. So I've kind of created a little ledge or some sort. I don't really know what to do with it. Uh, maybe I can put like a secret chest up here or something or I don't really know right now. Maybe there's another surface that I can build and put up there. I don't really know, but I thought it kind of looked kind of cool up there. So I think I'm going to want to kind of leave it for now. Uh, we also came and I think I built the mortar and pistol in the last episode. We have a ton of raw meat in here that is slowly turning into spoiled meat. And then when we get a bunch of narco berries, we can immediately turn that into narcotics. I've got 97 narcotics with me. Uh, narcotics are good. Narcotics serve the same purpose as narco berries. But I was told that they have two main benefits over the narco berries. First of all, they don't spoil. Uh, any food source, including narco berries, actually do spoil. And second of all, they have a much uh, more lethal effect on torpidity. Uh, not a lethal effect, a much more pronounced effect on torpidity. So a stronger, sleepy, sleepy effect. Um, so I'm going to try and use that today. Maybe do a bit of taming. Um, let's go ahead and dump this wood in here. We don't really need it. That we can throw away. Fiber we can throw away. Coal we'll actually hold on to for now. And we'll dump into our unique chest. And then I'll show you what else I've been working on. Uh, this is kind of cool. I have a lot of charcoal in here too. I've got some metal and charcoal and a ton of flint. So if, and chitin. So if anything comes up that requires me needing these kind of items, I've got quite a lot. And keratin as well. So uh, we got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, what I did after this is I focused on building an extension. I kind of thought things were getting a bit crowded in here. So we went and made it a bit of an extension. Uh, we made the great wooded hall of our um, uh, of our uh, of our, our shelter uh, up here. When you take down a wall, do you get supplies back? So when you destroy anything, you get half of the supplies back. So if I take down walls or even these little wooden railings or whatever, you get half of the material back. Um, I built this kind of an extension, nice wooden extension to our shelter. I wanted to experiment a lot with wood now that I had it, I had it unlocked. Um, so we kind of built it like the exact kind of uniform shape. So this side here is kind of the flat wall. And then we built up the, uh, sloped, I forgot the sloped walls in here. Do I want to keep that up there for now? Yeah, why not? We'll keep that up there for now. Um, and yeah, I was kind of experimenting with these wooden rails. I accidentally bought the engrams for this, so I thought I would build them in. Um, I don't actually like them though. So I'm probably going to get rid of them. Kind of makes this look like a bit of a barn, which I don't really like. I might actually knock this wall down as well at some point uh, and open it right up, but we'll leave it closed for now. I just want to check. Do I have motion blur on? No, I don't. Weird. What if it feels like I do. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted a bit more space uh, to branch out. There's a lot of stuff that we can craft coming up that is going to need uh, some space on the ground. There's like a smithy. There's a, there's a forge. A lot of these stuff, I have no idea what they do, actually. So I'm going to try and work on them. I give myself a lot of room so I can put some more stuff down and kind of uh, um, play around with it. Um, the thing with wood, and this is why I wouldn't recommend anyone building with wood unless you have enhanced harvest rates on, is it actually takes a ton to make. So where's our wooden foundation? Wooden foundation. There it is. So it takes 80 wood just to build one piece of wood foundation. So one of these small pieces on the ground. So I think I have like one, two, three, what is that? Four by three, so about 12 pieces down here. Four, eight, 12, yeah. So um, yeah, this took me a long time. One full stack of wood only makes you about one. And I also think the roofs were quite expensive too. The sloped roofs were 60. So this actually took me a long time to do. We pretty much had to run down all of the wood in our area to get enough wood to go ahead and make this. Um, but the good news is, if, if you're looking for ways to level up quickly, harvesting all that wood and then earning it got me a ton of levels. So I think I was maybe like level 19 or 20 at the end of my last video, and now I'm up to level 29. And this was with a 1.5 XP multiplier uh, from the server settings. So I did get a little bit of help from the settings, but um, no doubt it definitely... Uh, got me leveled up really, really quickly. Uh, obviously, farming is going to get you some XP, but I think crafting a lot of this stuff and then putting it down got me a ton more. Uh, so we have a lot of room to play with now. And actually, I do want to get rid of this, but I'll do it later. Um, I don't want to spend too much time in our uh, shelter today. We've really spent the first... How many days in are we now? We spent 17 days 
of our time in Ark in here. I kind of want to explore the island and see what's going on. We made some more torches in here to light this section up. Uh, okay. So let us go and meet the rest of our family. What's going on here? Repair a wall. Okay. Uh, so let's go meet the rest of the dino family. We did make some extensions. What's up, Miller? How you doing, buddy? Um, yeah. So we also have a bit of a friend, a visitor, who is big, loud, and annoying. And he will refuse to go away in the form of that guy. Uh, the wild male Bronto. Uh, he is untamed. Um, he is using my shelter as a footrest right now. He's been here now for like a week. Uh, and I can't get rid of him. And I have a feeling that it might be because of Mike. I think he's kind of stuck on Mike. It might be because he really likes Mike. It might be because he really likes my shelter. I think it's because he just likes my music. <laughs> yeah, so we went ahead and built the... Uh... Yeah, see, he does like it. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I think we went ahead and built the drum set. Um, why? Because we could. Uh, it actually has no fucking value at all. The drum set's actually completely useless in this game. I guess it's better for PvP or PvE stuff, where you want to kind of get the attend- I still feel like motion blur is on. Uh, I don't see any difference. Yeah, maybe there's a bit of a difference. Yeah, um... Jump sets are absolutely useless. War drums are absolutely useless. Uh, oh, nice. Another egg. Thank you, buddy. Uh, yeah, let's introduce you to the fam again. So there's Magic Mike. We'll come back to Mike. There's Tara the turtle. She has a... Oh, is she ready to level up? Yeah, she's leveled up. Uh, what do you want to spend it on? What do you want to spend it on? Um, movement speed. Pretty slow melee damage. Weight or health? Uh, I think we'll put it into weight. Uh, yeah, so she is uh, mate boosted. Uh, so that'll give you a bit away on what I've been up to uh, with my dinos. We have Ike, who is not ready to level up just yet. And Ike has a lot of stuff on her. Let's take some of the stuff away. Actually, you know what? We'll keep the claw stuff on her for now. I don't need to take that away just yet. Uh, so I'm extra high as well. Okay. You can handle the weight. We have our Parasaur, Paramorus, who actually looks like She's ready to level up as well. We'll increase her weight. We've been having some weight issues with her. She actually looks like she has a lot of weight. Oh, is that because I'm on her? That's probably because I'm on her. She actually has some narco berries too. We'll take the narco berries down off of her. Uh, and then we have Carbs. Carbs is our male sea turtle. Uh, so he is our mate for Terra. Uh, he was hanging around, chilling out by our, our section too. He has a little bug going on where I can't actually empty out his inventory for some reason. Because he's got one narco berry, one piece of wood, a bunch of individual raw meats that I can't actually put together. I don't really know what the deal is there, or how to fix that. I don't actually want to let me take all the items or drop all- oh. Do I want to drop all of them? It won't even let me drop all of them, will it? Let me try that again. Drop all items. I think I tried this yesterday as well. Yeah, it doesn't work. So I don't know what's going on there with carbs. Um, kind of confusing, but... uh. Whatever. Hopefully some sort of bug or glitch that they're working on. And then we have the newest addition to our family. We have... Uh, wow. We have Peter the Parasaur, but he's level 23, so he is mate boosted as well. But it looks like he's getting a huge level buff. Because when we picked him up, he was only like level 9 or 10? Now he's level 24? Wow, okay, nice. Uh, so mate boosting your dinos definitely increases their level quite a bit, which is kind of cool. Uh, I have to go back. I don't think I have any footage of it, but... Um, actually, I probably don't. I wasn't streaming when I got Peter, but... Level 24. I'm pretty sure he was like less than level 10. Like less, I think he was like level 9 or 10 when he tamed him. So not really sure what's going on there. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll quickly take you a tour around my shelter. This is what the uh, sloped walls look like. I kind of like the effect that they have. I like the wood on the thatch as well. This, these walls are actually really boring, though. Nothing is more boring than just a bunch of flat walls and nothing going on. So I might just indent this wall. Um, just kind of make it like this, kind of like an L shape. 
on this side and then carry it on, or I might put some window. I think actually there is a piece of wood in, um, that represents the window. Yeah, wooden window frame, stone window frame, wooden window. Okay, so we might go ahead and do this later on. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time today doing it, though. Um, because we have some goals today. But I wouldn't mind coming back, because the one thing I hate is just flat, boring walls. And this looks kind of flat and boring. Uh, okay, so what time is it? It is 1.46 in the afternoon. So what I want to do today, I have... Um, Gamma is actually really high. I turn gamma up at night time to kind of help you see and stuff, but sometimes you need to turn it down. So I have a couple of missions or things that I want to get accomplished today. Uh, first and foremost, I want to head in that direction over there towards that obelisk. Um, I kind of want to see what is over there, what is going on over there. Um, I haven't visited any of the obelisks in this game, and I've kind of stayed away from footage of what they actually do or what's there. So... Uh, I'm going to head towards that direction at some point today. Or at least try and go, and I think it's the closest one. There's one over there that's quite far away, one over there is quite far away. And I think there might be one back here somewhere too, but... Um, I think that's the one that we're going to focus on. I'm uh, making our way towards today. Um, the other thing we're going to do, I think I want to use our new narcotics uh, to tame some tangs. Uh, so I think we're going to go and see if we can find... Uh, make ourselves a bit of a hunting pack. Uh, I want to try and get some um, some dillos, some Dilophosauri, or Dilophosauruses. Um, Jesus. That Bronto is massive. Um, uh, some Dilophosauruses, or Dilophosauri, maybe grab two or three of those, make a bit of a small hunting pack. And if we can, I would love to tame a, um, a raptor, now that we have access to uh, the raptor saddle. Which I think was level 20. Yeah, so we have access to the raptor saddle now. I wouldn't mind grabbing a raptor uh, saddle and um, taming a raptor and then using him to, uh, to get around the place. But speaking of saddles, we did manage to saddle up Mikey Mike. He's now got a saddle on his back. and uh, Yeah, I think he's definitely stuck with... Uh, ugh, that's actually quite nasty. I think I'm right up the Bronto's bum. Uh, but the good thing about Mike is that he is now able to... Oh, we got some more narcos there too. Nice. Uh, you're okay holding on to these for now. But when you saddle up a trike, you're actually able to farm berries at an alarmingly fast rate. Uh, which is really, really cool. So, are we stuck? Are we stuck now too? Yeah, I think Mike is definitely keeping his pronto in place. Uh, I didn't actually mind it, because when you're kind of out and about at nighttime, kind of looking around for these kind of things... Uh, or farming, or going for wood, or whatever. We had to go all the way out there for wood to finish this section off. Uh, looks like some wood is actually growing back now because of our, um, our our resource respawn rate. But it's actually a nice, easy way for us to find our way back home. Uh, we've got a couple of narco berries here now. So let's go back here. And let's go back to our mortar and pistol. And we'll take a stack of raw meat out. We'll put the narco berries in. We will go ahead and make... How many can you make? We can make nine more narcotics. We'll go ahead and make those, and we'll just let those do their thing. We'll put the eggs back up here, because we're not going to need those wherever we go. Uh, track egg is there. Do we need the slingshot? Now, I don't think we need the slingshot. The reason why we don't need the slingshot is I think we can actually learn some trank arrows now. Dump the rocks. We don't need the rocks. Cooked meat, we've got plenty of. Spoiled meat, we'll drop. We don't need that right now. Uh, we can actually repair our stone pick in a minute as well. Our torch is about to... Okay, whatever. We can be here forever. Um, can we learn the tranquilizer arrows? Because I think that would help us quite a bit. Uh, where are they? Where are they? There's the bow. There's a stone arrow. I think they were around here somewhere, weren't they? There we go. Trank arrow. So I need stone arrows and I need narcotics. And I have both. So now how do I make them? Oh, okay. So I can make narcotic or trank arrows by using narcotic and stone arrow. So how many do I want to make? Do I want to make 50? No, I don't want to make 50. I have 50 stone arrows, I think, in my inventory. So, you know what? We'll go ahead and make... Uh, should we say 20 or so? How many is that? Uh, 
Uh, that looks like it is too short. I'll go ahead and make two more. Nice round number of 20. All right now, how do I use these? How do I use these rank arrows? Oh, so I just replaced them on my bow. Is that how I do it? Okay. Consume one trank arrow. And then how do I... So it's like I can only use one set of arrows at a time. Is that right? What if I put my second bow down? I do have two bows. What if I put my second bow down here? And then put my stone arrows into my second bow. There we go. Okay. So now I've got the ability to pull out my trank arrows. And I've got the ability to pull out my more lethal arrows too. Okay. That's cool. I like that. What we will do though. I don't think we need the... Do we need the wooden club? Hold on to the wooden club for now. Uh, torch we're running low on. Uh, let us put our stone arrows up here. Here, because those might be the ones that we need more readily. Quickly drink a bit of water. Get more water. Alright, so these are our trank. Sorry, these are our stone arrow. These are our trank arrows. Okay. Easy enough to remember. Okay. What time is it? I wonder if we might just let the day pass and then go in tomorrow in better light. Or if we make our journey today. I'm going to take some dinos with me too. I haven't actually been able to take many of them. Uh, one thing I did want to show you guys though. Is we got ourselves our very first um, blueprint. Uh, we got the compass blueprint. Um, so blueprints are kind of cool. Blueprints let you craft specific items. Without actually having to learn engrams. So. Uh, excuse me. So in the case of the compass. We can now craft the compass without actually having to spend the engram points on the actual compass itself, which is only five, but still. Early on in the game, that might not be all that much. So, we need the compass. We probably don't need it right now, so we're going to put it away, but we will at some point decide to make it. And I actually want to put this raw meat into a dino, because I think putting it into a dino will actually help preserve it a little bit. We don't lose it. And I think if we're going to go ahead and tame some of them... Delos or raptors, I think we're gonna need some of that raw meat, so we'll take some with us. Um, what else do I need? Do I need anything else in here? Do I want to improve my tools before I get out? Uh, we don't, don't really need to do that. Uh, I think we're good to go. Got some tranks. I don't know. If, I don't know if we need anything else. Don't know if we need anything else. Um. I am tempted to wait though until the next day. Let's have a look and see if there's any. So there's a heavenly drop supply drop out there. There's one. For... There's actually a supply drop. There's two supply drops. There's one that one there out in the distance, which actually isn't all that far away at all. Uh, and then there's one that actually comes like right next to these trees, which is really nearby. And I think there's one that is back out there as well. Uh, so it doesn't look like any of them are active right now. I think we might as well start making our journey. What we'll do is I think I have a spare torch somewhere here. Yeah, we'll take that with us too. Just so I'm not lugging around too much. We'll put our stuff onto Ike. Uh, we'll leave our meat with Ike. We will leave our torch with Ike. And the rest of the stuff we will actually keep on us as well. Okay, are we ready to go? Should we go? What time is it? I think we'll go. I don't mind traveling at night time. We do have a night... Uh, sp we've sped up the time that it takes for us to travel by night as well. So, um... So I don't think night time is going to last all that long. I think we changed it to like 2.5 multiplier. Um... XP multiplier, I've actually reduced back down to 1, so I'm not running on a 1.5 anymore. Um, all of the damage and resistance changes, I've put back down to 1 as well. Um, I'm actually hungry. Let's eat up a bit. Um, and I think those are all the main changes. There's uh, no XP multiplier, I said. I think those are all the main changes that I made. Uh, and we put on the night multiplier as well. Uh, and then obviously the harvest rate is increased, so we do get more for everything we harvest. I think it's by 2. All right, so what do we want to take? I think we're going to leave our turtles with us. Uh, we're going to leave our turtles back here. So we'll take 
Right, who's actually faster? Movement speed 183%. Uh, okay, get off. I think the trike might be faster. Movement speed 250. Yeah, the trike is fast. So we'll ride Mike. Uh, come on, Bronto. Don't be difficult. Don't be difficult. Am I stuck? Here we go. Alright, so we're going to leave the two turtles behind. And we'll take Ike, so... Follow me, and we'll also put you on... Neutral, actually. And we'll put you on Neutral. We'll take Paramore. Ooh, looks like Paramore just laid an egg as well. Uh, follow and Neutral. I've never seen a... Param I have no idea what these eggs do, but I'm really tempted to find out. I'm not going to do it. Part of the appeal of this is me not knowing what the hell's going on. I'm kind of figuring it out on my own, so... Um, oops. What am I doing? Wow! Why are they attacking? What are they attacking? I don't know why they're attacking him. It is the Bronto, right? There's nothing else there, right? It must be the Bronto. It must be the Bronto, right? Yeah, okay. You know what? Let him go. 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 You bunch of crazies? Dude, is he attacking it? No, he's not attacking. All right, come back here. Everybody follow me. Everybody follow me. I haven't had too much experience with these dino commands, as you guys can tell, so. That's a little bit crazy. All right, we got our trike, we got our parasaur, we got our other trike, we got our turtle up here. He's not mucking around with any of ours, is he? No, he's not. Okay, 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 not cool. Not cool. I can't move out of the water, what's going on? Everybody attack him, attack him! Let's get the hell out of our water. Ow. He just smacked me with his tail. This is not good. This is not good. We are in trouble. I can't fire this in the water either. Jump. Alright. There we go. I did not want to kill you. I don't know I do not know why these guys attacked you. I am terribly sorry, but you're a bit of a bitch, so down you go. Now, can I check his inventory, or is he in the water? Let's whistle all stop, and let's whistle all neutral, so you guys don't cause me any more problems. Can I check his inventory and see what he has on him? He is Sir Alfred Vertebra. We'll take that, no idea what it is, but whatever, and then we will... I can do this without drowning, obviously. That was eventful. We have some raw prime meat, which is actually pretty good um, at taming uh, the thing needs to eat meat. Wow. Look at the meat we got off of him. But it actually has a really fast um, spoil time. You can see that like two and a half minutes. So I think what we'll do. Stupid misbehaving dinos. Are you all by my door? Get away from my door. No, wait, right, wrong one. All the all. Are you stuck on my sign, carbs? No, you're good. Oh. Interesting. It looks like all of my uh, torches were destroyed there, too. That's fine. I don't really need that stuff. All right, now all of you losers, stop there and behave. Don't have time for you guys right now. I'm not sure if we can cook the prop by me. I'm assuming we can. I'm not sure we'll be able to cook it. I'm though. Spoils in a minute. Should be good. Uh, and let's let's go and slap some of this stuff away up here. <laughs> I actually don't really know why we attacked him, unless I must have selected something wrong? 
Uh, that was all a bit, a bit strange. We got another raw prime meat here as well. Did I not stack them together? There's only one piece at a time. Get some cooked prime meat. Let's take that out. Put the other prime meat in. Um, we have a bunch more raw. I'm actually hungry. Can I eat the raw prime? Or the cooked prime, sorry. Let's go ahead and eat that. What does that do for my food? About 35 points of food compared to... What does this do? About 20? Yeah. About 20. Uh, and then we can just go ahead and make sure all this raw meat gets chucked in here. There we go. And I might actually just... Can I put this in here too? Yeah, I might just take a full stack for myself. It is nighttime now, so I think once at first light, I think we'll head out and uh, and make our way towards the other side. Um, can't see any. I don't care if you guys are upset. You guys were misbehaving, the bunch of you. Where's Ike? There's Ike. Access Ike, and we will go ahead and put the meat on Ike as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the hide on Ike as well. And I think now that we're planning to stay the night, why don't we start fixing some of our tools? We need some stone, some thatch, and some wood. Do I have any stone on me? No, I don't. Go ahead and grab some more of these stones. Yeah, I want to watch that back. I'm not really sure. I wonder if I maybe got one of my dino commands wrong. And caused all that shit to... Uh, to kick off unexpectedly. So I guess that Bronto going nuts. Um, do that. Extract a bit of wood from here too. That supply drop actually looks a lot closer than the one that I was looking at earlier. So we'll go ahead and repair you. We'll repair you as well, and we will repair you as well. Oh, flint. Uh, I have plenty of flint. Plenty of flint. Can I get flint from these things? I haven't tried before. Oh, we can. Nice. Might be an idea to turn my gamma back up. Just so that we can see something. Okay. I'll turn it back down when it's not dark. And we'll repair the torch too. Okay, cool. So we got some good duels. Actually, you know, that's really high. Let's turn that back. We got some good tools. Uh okay, so let's go back into the relative safety of our shelter. We got a lot of raw meat when you were building out this wooden extension here because we got attacked by our first raptor. So we were due a raptor attack when you finally got uh, attacked by a raptor. Uh, so that was kind of messed up. Um, and then on top of that, we also, um, we also uh, uh, got attacked by a couple of uh, Dilophosauruses or Dilophosauri. Obviously, because when you were building out this way, I should probably turn this off. Uh, you know what? We'll leave it on. Take that away. We'll take our charcoal as well. What I want to do. Let's take that out and let's combine these better. No? Do you not work for me? Come on, what's going on here? There we go. And we'll leave that 30 wood. Oh, we got plenty of wood in here too. Good. Uh, I was using a lot of these torches as just standard um, wood storage as well. Even though I do think things like thatch and um, I actually learned some spark powder too, uh, which is here. Now, uh, Spark powder is, I guess, the precursor to gunpowder, and you can use it in um, you can use it in a uh, in a flare gun as well. So in one of my supply drops, I actually found a flare gun, 
uh, and I got really, really excited. So I did what any idiot would do when you get a flare gun. I looked, pulled it out, looked it up into the sky, fired it into the sky, and it created a nice sparkly explosion, and then the gun disappeared. So I think it was like a one-time use, or you needed to have spark powder on you at the time, and I didn't obviously have that on me, so... Yeah. Lost the... Uh, I was an idiot for doing that. Um... Okay, and then the other thing we can actually do... Um, I made some changes on my map. So now I've actually put the pin on the map. Which shows my location, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, because now I can kind of figure out where I am on the map. The map is kind of useless if it's not telling you where you are, any of that kind of information. Uh, so now I know where I am. And the other thing I, I can actually do is... I can do this. So I think we already figured it out to be 78 latitude. And I think it was actually sorry, it's probably 77 latitude. I think it was 38 longitude. We can actually put markers on this map. So we'll, we will call this the the outpost. Except and there you go. So you can't really see it right now, but when I move away, you'll be able to see that I now have an indicator on my map that says outpost. So whenever we go exploring, whenever we go see shit. We can actually pay attention now and figure out where we are and not get lost. Uh, which is part of the reason why I didn't actually bother making that compass. But considering we're in here for night, we might as well go and see what it is. Alright, so what do we need? We need some... Ugh. I don't really want to use metal because I don't have much of it. Flint and fiber I have plenty of. Uh, so there's the fiber. I think the flint is up here. Uh, I think it was five flints. So we'll go ahead and take that. I'll put the charcoal in here. We'll keep the meat on us. Can we put the vertebrae in here too? Here we go. Seraptor vertebrae. The Chachoy Privy War as a hunter. I actually got one of these off of the raptor that I killed. So I guess he must have tangled the Bronto and killed him. Kind of weird. Uh, thatch I don't need right now. Actually, we'll keep that on us. All right. So can I make this? Metal. And metal is up here. Go ahead and take the metal. We'll go ahead and make the compass. Yay! Okay, and we will put the compass in place of our uh, wooden club for now. And let's see how this works. Okay, cool. So, based on my... Oh, hang on. Is it the blue tip? It must be the blue tip, right? Or is it this way? Which way is north? Is that way north? Does that make sense based on our map? I don't know. I'm pretty geographically challenged right now. Whatever. At least we have a compass. We're not going to take it with us though because we don't really need it. it. Looks like the light is up. So it looks like we are ready to go. I think I had it in here, didn't I? Yeah, let's go and put our fiber back. Put our thatch back because we don't need it anymore. Let me put some more stones in here. No, so we'll just drop it. And we will put our metal back up here as well. Our flint back up here as well. And then I think... think... we are good to go. Oh, I put the blueprint back, but I kept the compass. That's the benefit of those blueprints, is you don't need to engram at all. You treat them as a disposable engram. So put the compass down. We don't really need to take that with us. Uh, 23 meat we have with us as well. Uh, I think we're good to go. I am missing something. What am I looking for? I'm looking for an extra stack of meat. Take that with us. Alright, and we'll just put the fire out too. Okay, let's get going. I wasted a lot.